we know the love bug thing well. Uh-huh. We know them well, right? But what about kissing bugs? I've never heard of them before. Yeah, researchers at UF Health have not only noticed an increase in bites from kissing bugs, but it's linked to an insect-borne disease. Yeah, this will make your skin, skin crawl a little bit. Let's uh, turn things over to Claire Alfries. He's on your side to talk about how to keep yourself and your family safe during the peak kissing bug season. A research team with UF Health is currently looking for Robert Hutchinson's unwanted neighbor, the kissing bug. The most recent one I've seen was under my pillow when I woke up one morning. Dr. Norm Beatty with UF Health says their kiss is like a mosquito bite on steroids. They'll invade your home and while you're sleeping, they will take a blood meal from you or they'll give you a kiss on the face. A kiss good night that has sent Hutchinson's next door neighbor to the doctors. His whole side of his face swell up and it was clear it was something more than just a mosquito bite. Seeing more patients coming in with kissing bug bites, Hutchinson has turned his home into a research facility to come up with more ways to keep the night crawlers out of homes throughout northern Florida. Pretty much impossible to keep bugs out of your house, particularly these guys. They're very cryptic. They just move at night. Dr. Beatty's biggest concern are the possible infections kissing bugs may give to humans. One in three kissing bugs has Chaga's disease and has potential to do serious damage to your heart or brain, which is why he recommends sealing off your home to the outdoors after the sun goes down. And so people leave their windows open, but these bugs can fly, the adults. They fly at night and they can fly right into your windows. A small change that will help homeowners like Hutchinson avoid an unwanted visit to the doctor's office. Claire Alfrey, First Coast News, on your side.